Here are seven Android apps that take you to the next level. Drop a thumbs up if you want a part two. First off, with an app called Volume Slider, you can change the volume just by sliding your finger up or down on the edges of your screen. Or it even allows you to control the brightness. In the settings of the app, you can make any side become a trigger and divide the right or left sides into even more triggers. You can even decide what each edge does and you don't need root or ADB to get this working. Once in a while, I get annoyed about having to check my phone while I'm doing some work on my computer. I have to switch back and forth between both devices. That's why I like to mirror the screen of my Android to my desktop. I use a power mirror to do this. The app can make a connection wirelessly or wired. I prefer to go wirelessly because the response time is still less than a second and it's less of a hassle to get it working. On top of that, I can also control my desktop with my phone. This is perfect for a laptop or a small screen size monitor. It's not very efficient for someone with a 49 inch monitor such as myself, but give it a shot. It works perfectly on both Android and iOS. Before I move on to even more awesome apps, I wanted to give a shout out to Teotronics and Rap Power for sponsoring this video. Teotronics has a ton of amazing headphones and sound bars that you can buy off their website. One of my favorites is their Sound Liberty 53 wireless earbuds, which only cost $45. A great alternative to other competitors like Apple, which costs well over $100. The sound quality offers truly natural, authentic sound and powerful bass performance with the 6mm dynamic speakers, and they fit my ears perfectly with a tight seal so they're very comfortable and never fall out. Even when I'm jogging or at the gym, they come with a charging case which is pocket sized so you can take it anywhere and it charges the buds really fast and these earbuds have amazing battery life as well. One charge will allow five hours of playtime and the charging case extends it to 40 hours. To top it all off, it supports Bluetooth 5.0. It has a built-in microphone for hands-free calls. It has a noise isolating design so you can concentrate on your music without any background noise. It's waterproof with an IPX7 rating. It has smart touch controls to do things like answer calls, control music, or adjust the volume. And they auto connect to my phone instantly once taken out from the charging case. Overall, I'm really happy with this product and it's really cheap, so if you want to check it out, I'll drop a link down below. Last year, I used StopAd to block intrusive ads on my phone, but the company has recently decided that they will discontinue their service, so I had to find another alternative for non-rooted users. The best one that I can find is called DNS66, and of course it's not on the Play Store, but it's on Fdroid, which is an alternative Android market. I'll drop a link down below to download it. DNS 6.6 allows the blocking of host names via DNS, so it can be used for ad blocking, and like I said before, it doesn't require root, unlike Adaway. For those technical users, it basically establishes a VPN interface and redirects DNS server traffic to it. That traffic is filtered by the VPN connection and only allows queries for hosts that are not blacklisted. So here's how to get it working. When you open the app, go to the host tab and you'll see a list of domains. From there, you'll be able to enable host files that you would like to use by tapping the shield next to them. The first one already includes all the other host file names, so by enabling that, you're good to go, but you can allow more if you want. From there, you're going to want to tap on the refresh icon so the app downloads and updates the host files. And finally, on the main page, you're going to tap on the star icon. And if your phone asks to allow a VPN connection, tap on OK. Now, you shouldn't see any more ads within most of your apps or games. However, Google Chrome, YouTube, Spotify, or any other apps that use their own advertisement service still display ads. There's not much you can do about that. For those who have a PC, you can remotely unlock it with your smartphone's fingerprint sensor. Remote Fingerprint Unlock is the app that makes this happen. It works like a charm and you don't need root or ADB to get this working. It's a secure process since all the data sent is encrypted. The app doesn't store any of your passwords. And if someone tries removing your saved fingerprints on your phone and then tries to add their own, the app will immediately be notified and will automatically reset itself. There are a ton more features, especially if you get the pro version. For example, you can unlock multiple computers and add multiple accounts per computer. It supports wake on LAN, so I can wake up my ethernet connected PC from sleep and unlock it automatically. Lastly, it supports widgets or shortcuts to unlock your computer straight from your Android's home screen. I prefer the shortcut because it just looks like an app. If you guys want to see a tutorial on how to get this running on your Android, I made a video a while back showing off a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do this, so click that eye in the right corner if you want to check that out. Apparently, you can control your phone with your face with an app called EVA Facial Mouse. That's right, no more tapping on the screen. It's a little difficult to get the hang of, but basically your front-facing camera tracks your facial movements and a mouse on the screen will follow them. The mouse will automatically tap whenever you stop moving your face, or they have an experimental feature where you can wink to click. You can also do more difficult actions such as scroll, swipe, long press, pinch in and out of a picture, double tap, and more. I don't really use those since they're pretty gimmicky, but they do work. 
In the settings, you can configure a bunch of the options, including the sensitivity, how fast the mouse moves, mouse size, etc. Now I'm going to show you how to check your heart rate without a heart rate sensor. All your phone needs is an LED flashlight and a rear camera, which pretty much every phone has now. Then with an app called Heart Rate Monitor, you just put your finger on your phone's camera and cover the flash at the same time, and in a few seconds, it will tell you your heart rate. It's pretty accurate as well. I get similar results to an actual heart rate sensor like the one found on the Galaxy S10. This last app is pretty amazing. It's called Daywise. If you're constantly getting interrupted by unimportant notifications and you still keep them around just in case the app gives you an important one in the future, then you can use Daywise to solve this issue. The app will only let you see important notifications instantly and you can view the rest later when you're not busy. Instant notifications can include messaging apps, calendar events, Uber ride alerts, phone calls, emails, Twitter, or anything else you deem important, while all the other notifications will only notify you four times a day in batches. That way you can avoid checking your phone hundreds of times a day. Anyways, those are the best Android apps that will take your Android to the next level. If you enjoyed this list and want a part two, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button and get subscribed while you're at it with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss out on any future Android videos. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!